Hi, good afternoon. This is Afnan from Afnan Aquaponics. Uh, the set at the back that you see is my gutter grow bit set that I designed quite some time back. And I have tested this uh, design for a very long time. And I'm sure you have, know, you have known that uh, I practice aquaponics for more than a decade, about 12 to 13 years I practice aquaponics and I constantly make improvement and today run through how to make the gutter grow bit set because after using the gutter grow bit set for quite some time and I feel it is successful and it is easy to make and very easy to maintain and what makes the gutter grow bit set possible is the smaller siphon that I designed. This is the smaller siphon that I made. And if anyone can still remember or seen a video, the reason I made this small siphon was a request from my daughter to have a school project and to make a very small tabletop aquaponic set. I've experimented with the smaller siphon for more than a month and I finally I managed to get it right and I made the table to upset and from that I feel that this small siphon can actually control water flow for much larger system in fact yes in fact it is the smaller the siphon the more difficult it is to get right but the trade-off is the smaller the siphon the less power is required to run the aquaponic system when I started our aquaponic my power capacity power requirement is about 120 watt that is the pump that I need that is size of pump that I need but now I only need about 20 watt of uh, pump of power which it has reduced significantly for more than one fifth thanks to this smaller siphon and it works very well so then I designed the gutter grow bed set and let me go through how the gutter grow bed set is made by the way uh, I never really made a, a video on how this uh, siphon is made but it's a very simple siphon to make all you need is the pipe adapters that is readily available from the hardware shop it is from Malaysia for other part of the country you have to figure out how to make a smaller siphon and it have a, a typical siphon outlet this is how it is done and all I need is just a cap on top of the gutter grow bed with holes made from circular file that's all it's a very simple design which I made and it works and some let's say this part you may need to be tailored to make sure you have the right height okay let me go through uh, the gutter grow bit this to uh, assist or help the new people that are trying to build the aquaponic system and I highly recommend for Malaysia uh, for terrace houses apartment have an aquaponic set and I do recommend the gutter grow bit which is the simplest a lot of people asking me about mosquitoes uh, on the gutter grow bit no there's no mosquitoes because the water will be constantly flowing and any mosquito that is available in the gutters will be flushed down to the fish tank however you have to maintain it properly if you do not maintain it properly you have a system clog you can have mosquitoes but that do not don't blame that on aquaponics that is your maintenance that you have not done properly right uh, let's just go through what are the items that require typically you need a big enough fish tank I do recommend something like a 5 feet tank 
or you can have it smaller roughly you need about 100 gallon of water that's the minimum that I always recommend 100 gallon of water or about 400 liters this the size which is significant enough to have uh, fish for you to uh, rare and also vegetable that you can uh, harvest any smaller than that it's just an ornamental set it is uh, for show it can be it can run but it will not produce anything significant the flood and drain gutter aquaponic system set comprised of a fish tank racking then set of gutters here on top of the fish tank I have four gutters in Malaysia they sell these gutters about 16 feet or more about 19 and a half feet around there what I did I just cut it into four and put an end cap so the gutters is a very simple uh, system what you need is you buy one gutter then cut it into four and buy the appropriate end cap and cap it use the normal um, uh, PVC glue and have it watertight then what I will do I build a rack this rack I just uh, put it on top of the fish tank this is a fish tank which is about 5 feet fish tank and I build the rack on top of it the racking system is a very simple because this is a prototype so it doesn't look very nice but it works it has been running for uh, quite some time and it works then you'll have water feed from a single pump there's a water feed through a single pump you can see that's the water feed PVC goes up into a single pump uh, sorry uh, from a single pump water feed it goes up into the grow bed it will be branched out into four first it branched into two then it branched into another two and a total of four branched out because we need to have four a grow bit and I recommend that you have a binary kind of uh, feed it's two four eight because it's very difficult very easy to uh, divide when it comes to binary for the water division otherwise you will have you will require some kind of uh, adjustment which is quite tedious that that tap is just for me to drain the water if required and it's just uh, drain to the drains and the fish inside will be tilapia patin some baung a few other fish enter inside this fish tank let's talk about the gutter so the gutter as mentioned is a uh, one gutter it doesn't cost much this gutter is quite cheap I cut it into four and this is how the water is being fed it's a very simple water feed let's uh, me show you the how the water feed is made that's how the water feed is made from the fish tank the single part at the bottom will be divided into two then it further divide into two so we will give you a four uh, feeding into the gutter with this arrangement you do not need to have any special valve or any adjustment required no no adjustment required and everything will will match and the water inflow into each of those uh, gutter will not have any problem okay let's go back to the gutter then each of the gutter will have a siphon this is the mini siphon that I made it have the the siphon top that would cause the siphoning action 
then the standpipe the standard set standpipe is since the gutter is quite shallow I will need to adjust the standpipe so that it it will have water level that does not exceed the uh, gutter height okay that's the top of the standpipe let's look at the bottom of the standpipe the bottom standpipe a typical standpipe it can have a straight and then an elbow with an L however I put a, a saddle part here just to make it works better so you can see all my siphon have that saddle part it's not a requirement but it is good to have this saddle part is actually a 20 millimeter to a 15 millimeter uh, adapter I put it uh, end to ends and make it into a saddle that will create a much better water flow for the system the height between the the height between the grow, gutter grow bit to the fish tank uh, lid is about one feet then the water height of the fish tank depend on this is another few inches down uh, the water level it's been working without any issues and this design can be made into a modular setup where I can tie up more gutters into the system as you can see from my previous videos or my posting in my blog I planted uh, many plants and it it works these are vegetables that I use for my uh, daily cookings and I planted them inside the pots uh, it takes some time for me to get the right pots so these pots uh, are the right size and I do not require any more uh, tubes to line up the bottom part of the gutter as my some of my previous video have shown so this is this may has made it much easier for the gutter grow bit to be made just put it back water level is uh, rising and it will start to flush basically I have not bothered about the flushing system for a very long time the only things that I have to watch out are root invasion if there's root coming into the gut uh, the uh, siphon I have to clean it up or there is uh, a significant algae growth that I need to clean up the siphon and with this design of the siphon it works flawlessly I have, I have no issues and no problem at all with it how do I clean the gutters cleaning the gutters is a very simple process all I need is a fish net you can have it bigger something like a 4 inch fish net will do so you remove all the plants from the remove all the plants from the gutter which can be easily done then uh, run through the fish net to scoop out any algae or uh, fish um, solids that's built up in the uh, gutter system uh, that's about it you probably need to do it once every two months or once every month and it will work this system will work I've tested it for a very long time and I highly recommend for Malaysian or places with similar kind of weather climate uh, practice this system if you can get the components to make it I have additional fish tank on the side this is nothing it's just an auxiliary tank I put another pump inside that particular tank and have a water circulation you can have a single pump operating and have a water uh, feeding from this lower fish tank into the gutters then it will be returning back through this point but I'm thinking of removing this additional fish tank and replacing it with a bigger tank like the one on the right so I'm making a temporary water circulation system 
with this pipe that you can see that just feed water and it just recycle it back into the system uh, here basically what I have in this particular tank are fish fries so they are no longer fish fries they are getting bigger uh, I kept I put in about three or four tilapia male and female combination and let them breathe then I remove them once the fish fry is available and from there I will restock my main tank so that's about it the flood and drain aquaponic system which I highly recommend for everyone in Malaysia to try out how much does it cost that's the main question uh, the fish tank I'm not sure uh, you can get it from about close to 500 ringgit the gutters is very cheap the frames and the palms are also quite cheap all in all the set probably will set you back about 700 ringgit Malaysia you do not need a lot of uh, hydroton because uh, being a potted gutter bit system the hydroton is is uh, uh, the usage of hydroton is minimum however if you have difficulties in getting hydroton you can uh, use pebbles try to get river bed pebbles the smaller one that will be that will be good but hydroton the most you will need is for this size of gutter bed system you will need about two bags of uh, hydroton this can be easily shipped to you and you will use the hydroton um, over and over so it's just a one-off investment for the hydroton right that's about it and thank you for watching i hope uh, more people will try out aquaponics because from my experience it just works the gutter bit system just works and the maintenance is quite minimal don't worry about failures because you will only blow about 1000 ringgit the most and uh, if you set up an aquarium system you're probably going to cost you more but this can give you a fish for protein and also endless supply of vegetables Thanks for watching. Bye.